Welcome back to Blar. We have a DVD WWE board game, two day players, 120 minute playtime according to Board Game Geek. I played this once and it was very long and kind of boring. Uh, this is the first edition that came out in 2005 and from what the comments I saw, the worst edition. I have not played two or three. I have them because I grabbed all of these just because they're WWE things. And more of like a WWE collector's item. It's probably not worth anything, but cool to have, in my opinion, if you're a WWE fan. Uh, this game is not very good at all. It has all this kind of cool stuff attached to the, the WWE universe. You know, this nice board, the components are good. Uh, an okay instruction booklet. And the problem is, I guess like most DVD games, putting a DVD in and stopping gameplay is just really long and tedious and boring. You answer a trivia question, so... That's where it kind of stands. You do have these cool, like, on theme belts that you put in front of you. So, it said two to eight. I think I only, only have four belts here. You can imagine eight people playing this, how long that would take. So, you get your track here, like fatigue, you know, up to injury, where it is raw, blue to SmackDown, of course. You have a lot of these cool superstars on card uh, with some wrestling action. Uh, moves as well. Just a DVD that has not been opened at all. <laughs> Put that is the side here. All right, let's um, clean this up a little bit. You also have these belts. You should be playing for trying to acquire these belts. I think the higher the belt, the more chance. It's like multiples of five, three, four. I can't remember. I assume we want to get the biggest, the highest championship you can. You got your Monopoly money here. Like I said, all these components are pretty decent. So this is from 2005. Uh, this one's pretty intact. Looks like it's never been played. Maybe just opened a little bit and they're like, ah, forget it. Kind of like what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna take a look at all the components. I'm not gonna go through gameplay. It's just roll, move around the Monopoly-like board, answer trivia questions, have matches, which is a dice fest. It's just not very, like I said, fun. It's just more of a collector's thing in my opinion. So you got chaos cards, WWE shop cards, SmackDown, and Raw cards. Okay, so we got the cards sorted. Let's see what superstars we have. Zoom in a little bit. We got Edge, it's a plus five heavyweight. You have their cost and their salary, which I think you have to like upkeep. You have some divas in here, the diva era. Forget who she is. It says on there. Eddie Guerrero. Uh, like Heidenreich, Kenzo Suzuki, Spike uh, Grenier, Undertaker. Put this back, I guess, on the other Divas at the time. To play on the bottom. So they have plus one, these are plus five. So plus five is, um, I think, the max, whatever it's for. 75, you got Victoria, Triple H. Try to slip this a little bit. Tisa, The Big Show, Spike Dudley back there. Big Show plus four, Spike Dudley plus three, Kane, Stone Cold plus five. Still sorry, the same as Undertaker's. Billy Kidman, Tori Wilson. Chavo, this is Alita, Trish, Booker T, Carlito, Stacy Keebler, um, Mark Jinderak, I think, JBL, RVD, Shawn Michaels, Paul London. Rob Conway, Ric Flair, Rey Mysterio, uh, some others are long gone, you got Orton, Boo, that guy, Shelton Benjamin, Jericho, Don Marie, 
No. Christian. Uh, Christy Hemi. Luther Reigns. Forgot about him. Kurt Angle. And that's that's it. So I think I don't know if you do divas versus divas because their numbers are definitely a lot lower. So I think the plus is it's just to your your battle role when you have a match. I think. I said I only played it once, so it was a long time ago, and again, not very good. So those are the cards, and then we got like. Your other deck with his chaos cards, foreign object, foreign object. Got a valet. It's odd they just put a a drawn picture on the valet. It's the only card like that. So a lot of foreign objects in this, on the side of this deck here. Just to do whatever, that's like a roll two. So I guess we're all roll two, you get doubles, blah blah blah. Different. Don't use this card to get disqualified. So you do different things during your your match. All right. So the other deck. Clean stocks. Collect some money. Get royalties here. Sell your merch. Non-title match. So pink slip match. Win. So they put all this stuff on all these cards to make a bad game. <laughs> like I said, the DVD part is definitely the worst part. Stopping what you're doing, hitting the button, loading it, doing a crazy trivia question, and then going right back to moving around the board. All right, let's get to the board, in fact. All right. Here's the board. It's a fourfold. It's like this cool metal. Uh, I guess Raw's Ruthless Aggression era kind of thing going on. So everything's easy to read. It's, it's big letters. Um, go, go around like a floppy style. Put all your cards here. Raw over there. Smack down there. Chaos cards. Your shop cards. You can see you can land on. Draw a chaos card, manage your video challenge on Fridays, then you know, main event, which I think is when you can write challenge a match, WWE shop, get a card. So all pretty self-explanatory what's going on on the board. And I, I feel like when you pass start or go, well not go, but start, I think you also get some money each time, like that's to your, your week's salary to divvy out between your wrestlers or your wrestler. So all these things that look decent for a bad game. This happens sometimes, especially like something like this where everything is just kind of tacked on. Like here's some dice, here's some generic markers, and we'll put some screenshots and some characters you like on cards and we'll sell it. So not a great game. Uh, if you're a fan of WWE, you may, you may want to pick it up just for the cards to have it. Sit on your shelf, that's what I did. Uh, they were pretty cheap. When I got this, I don't think they're very much money. And then you probably may be able to find them in a thrift store or eBay. Super cheap. I would not pay a lot of money for this. I don't think there's any real collectability to it. But I haven't checked. So that is the WWE DVD board game. I figure I'll unbox it so you can see what it looks like. And then uh, I do have the other two. I'll try to get around to unboxing those. See what's different. Because I probably won't give them a try because as, as bad as this one was. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.